and welcome to iClone Certified Training. I am your host, ICT4. This tutorial focuses on head randomization. The new head randomization abilities in iClone 4.0 is a fun and easy way to create many different looks for your avatars. I'm going to use the Benny avatar for this example, which I already have saved without his hair model, so you can clearly see his face and the overall shape of his head. As you can see, Benny's got an older look to him, and this avatar is meant to look old with the normal maps applied to it. But if we want to randomize the shape of the character's head, go to the Head tab, you'll see that the Face button is selected by default. Notice in the Modify panel, you will find the Randomize button under the Facial Features portion of the menu. Select the Randomize button, and notice that the features of the avatar's face will begin to change slightly, each scale and proportion changing with every click of the Randomize button. If you increase the variance rate on the variance slider and then select randomize once again, you will see that there will be a more drastic change. You can see Benny's face is now much different than when we started. This is just by selecting the randomize button at a higher variance value. You can then begin to edit the features individually if you would like as well. Or you can take the variance slider all the way up to 100. Select Randomize one more time for a very drastic change from what you have developed already using the Randomize feature. To begin to edit the face even further, scroll over the Modify panel and drag it up in order to reveal the rest of the panel features below. As you can see, sliders have already been set based on the Randomize selection we have chosen already. We can begin to select individual face features and areas and edit them further using the slider tools as you have before in iClone to edit the look and appearance of an avatar's head shape and face. So I'll begin to create some more changes and further detail my character's face until I'm happy with the overall look and shape of the character's head before I move on to selecting some custom eyes and a custom mouth. You can also save your head content once you have that applied. So I'm going to select the Eyes tab to add in a new set of custom eyes to my avatar, and I'm going to select the brown template. As you can see, new animatable eyes have been placed inside my avatar. To replace the teeth, select the Mouth button, and then from the template menu, select one of the templates that Real Illusion has provided for you. I'm going to select one missing some teeth on the bottom here, and then make some adjustments to the size and the color, brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation. That looks pretty good. So now, once I'm pleased with my character's new customized face, I can then save that by going back to the face menu and selecting the add button under the content manager. This will save my new head settings and allow me to name my new head. I'm going to call it Benny Custom 1. Hit enter to save, and now this head is able to be applied to any avatar, no matter what G3 avatar I load into the scene. I'll go back to actor and grab maybe the Dylan Clone Cloth template, and place him in the scene in place of my mini avatar. As you can see, it will come into the scene by default with the Dylan avatar's head. If I want to attach the new head that I've just created, I simply go back to the head tab and under the custom tab, I locate my head and double click that to apply that to my avatar. As you can see, my new randomized head in iClone 4 is now applied to the new avatar in the scene. This is a quick and easy way to randomize countless head shapes for your avatars inside iClone 4.0. Be sure to check out some of the other free training video resources here at iClone Certified Training.